Good morning cultists! Welcome to the beginning of a brand new campaign. This time we're going to venture into a part of the world that we've largely overlooked. We are going to Tibet. But we're not going to be any old Tibetan realm. In fact, we're not even going to be Tibetan at all. We are going to be Chinese. Han to be exact. Why? Well, I've always wanted to try the Chinese culture group. It also allows me to adopt Chinese imperialism, which I've never done before. Now, I realize that there are some Tibetan cultures that qualify for Chinese imperialism as well, but being Han is the only way to accomplish one of the primary goals of this campaign, unlocking the Aladdin achievement. Now, the goal is to reform the Bun religion and turn it into a wrecking ball of death and destruction, which is obviously the message that the Dalai Lama is trying to spread. And I already have someone picked out in mind for this grand old adventure. We are going to be Duke Zhang Yichao of Ju Quan. Because number A, he's one of the few playable Chan characters in the world. And number B, at this point in history, China is undergoing a major civil war. So we're going to be able to break free from the Western Protector immediately. We could start out as this lowly count in 769. But the only way for us to gain independence at this point is to do a war of uh, independence against the Western Protector, which is going to be very difficult. Or we could wait for China to undergo a major civil war, which may or may not happen. And if it does, we'd have to be very, very lucky. But why wait when we can start out immediately as an independent dude um, who can, well, not completely independent because we'll have to break free from the Western Protectorate anyways, but close enough, right? So let's do this. Uh, we are going to use the same rules that we did for our last campaign. So if you're kind of curious what those are, you can go ahead and pause and kind of read through what I've uh, changed from the default. And of course, we have to have Iron Man mode on for that sweet, sweet achievement. Let's do this. Iron Man Ju Quan? I don't think so. Iron Man, fantastic. Let's do this. You guys ready? I don't know if I am. All right, let's do this. Han Taoist Feudal, Han Culture Effects, no spe special features. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's a little sad, but okay, fine. <laughs> and I know we start out as being Taoistic, but we're going to switch that over to being Bun as quickly as possible. All right, so let's take a look at ourselves. Duke Zhang Yichao of Ju Quan, whose stats are actually pretty decent, or at least... The ones that matter, in any case, which is, of course, Marshal and Stewardship. And our Domain Limit is at a 5. We already have an heir who is 26 years old. Midas touched. Wow, wow, wee wow. Though, um, not much of a military strategist, I suppose. And we're also 68 years old. Good grief. Well, I don't think this guy is long for this world, that's for sure. Okay. Um, now, one thing I know about this area is I think Dunhuang is a better province than Jiu Quan. And I say that because Dunhuang not only has more holding slots, but it also has a trade post going through it. So let's switch our capital over there. So that's going to be our first act. And also, let's set our chancellors because, or our counselors rather, because I keep forgetting about this. Uh, Marshal, let's have you train troops. Chief Minister, who is also our Chancellor. Mm, I don't know if I need this guy to be doing anything right now, because I don't think the Western Protectorate actually exists in and of itself. It might exist as like a tributary thing, but or a suzerain, but um, yeah. Collect taxes for my treasurer. Spy Master, can you do some technology spying? What's here? Wait, isn't that... I'm pretty sure that Zunis stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the Zunis don't exist. Too soon. Too soon. All right. And um, Libationer, also known as our uh, court, um, court jester? No. What are these guys again? Uh, <laughs> I've forgotten the word now. Good grief. Doesn't matter. Let's have you research in cultural technology. Thank you. Wait a minute. You're not... What? This guy's not Taoist? What is this? Unbelievable. Do they not have cultural characters for the uh, Chinese? Good grief. Okay. And I think that's good for now. What about laws? 
Um, Agnatic Gavel kind. Ugh. Oh no. Okay, so let's not have any more children than we need. Let's go with Agnatic Cognatic Succession. Thank you. And for our realm, we will, of course, institute title revocation laws. Obligation. Nope. Council has been abolished. Perfect. What about technology? Well, we actually start out with two technology in um, all our culture stuff. Meaning that we only need to invest a little bit into legalism level 3 to get late feudal administration. Wow, wow, wee wow. That sounds awesome. Okay, let's set this to be our primary focus. And we will remain unmarried unless, of course, I can uh, find myself a old wife. Let's see if it's possible. At this point, though, I guess wouldn't really matter. Oh, hello, nurse. Yeah, 79 years old. We can compare our um, old pupil problems and such. And she's also bun, which is fantastic. Let's get married, you and I. Perfect. And anything else? Uh, I guess I should keep an eye out for potential bun wives for my son. Oh! Hey! Can we get you married to my son? We can. Um, except because we're still gavel kind. I'm a little nervous about doing that. Because we could end up with some realm fracturing in the future. So maybe maybe let's avoid that for the time being. And then we can get him married and um, load it up with concubines when he's uh, when he's taken over. Which I'm assuming won't be far off since we're so old. Okay, um, anything else that I need to deal with before I go ahead? Uh, become the king of Jia. If Pagan with succession laws set to Gavelkind, it allows him to... The unlimited uses use of the subjugation castes Belli within the kingdom. Um, hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Sure. I can't really see us fulfilling any other ambition anyways, so. And our focus will be... Um... Maybe, I don't know, stewardship? Is that a good idea? Carousing? No. Maybe we'll go with... Theology. But wait, I'm not the one that needs the piety, though. Let's just go with stewardship. Sure, why not? And I think we're good. So our decisions. Recruit court physician. You have sent messengers and scouts out in all directions to scour the realm for skilled physicians that would be willing to take up residence in your court. Word should reach you shortly if they manage to find a suitable candidate. Hopefully they will not bring back a quacksalver. Hope I do not have to wait long. And let's take a look at China. Currently ruled by the Tang Empire, they are open and currently undergoing civil war. Civil war has erupted in the Tang Empire, and trade with the East suffers as a result. The Empire's armies are arrayed uh, against one another, and the ruling dynasty itself is threatened. Intrepid generals may well seek their fortune in the West, beyond China's borders. The value of the Silk Road has been reduced by 50%. Imperial tributaries cannot raise Chinese regiments. Imperial tributaries can break free without opposition from China. Nice. And might end the China, or might end with China getting a new dynasty resetting all grace, which isn't a huge, huge concern for us. So we're not going to pay tribute to these guys at all. I mean, we could, but I'm not going to. Whoa. Tell me this guy's my commander. He is great. So let's go ahead and um, stop paying tribute. You will not be able to become a tributary of China for the next 30 years or until the ruling dynasty of China has changed. I see. The Protector General of the Exalted Emperor addresses a letter to the Traitor's Duke of the Duchy of Jiu Quan, the Heavenly Emperor or the Heavenly Li Wen, Emperor of Yizong of the Tang Empire, wishes for you to understand that he cannot tolerate such a lack of honor or loyalty from his tributaries. Your actions will be dealt with. They do not scare us. No, they they scare me plenty. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Speak for yourself. I'm currently shitting my pants as we speak. Good grief. But at least now we're independent. And let's also look at Chinese imperialism. Adopt a system of Chinese imperialism which has one divine emperor ruling over multiple vassals and a system of regulations and bureaucracy. So I lose 500 gold. Become the founder of a new bloodline. Whoa. You will find a new empire in the west inspired by the splendor of the Tang Empire. Government is changed to Chinese imperial. Under Chinese imperialism you can hold cities. Do not care if others... Uh, do not follow your religion, nor can you demand their conversion. Oh, that's... Huh. Gonna be interesting. Do not get opinion penalties with vassals of other government types. K 
cannot create or usurp empires, follow the special temple name convention for naming rulers, are limited to non-elective succession laws, and you will take on a new empire a temple name. Yeah, I don't really care about the non-elective succession laws. I never use that stuff anyways. I always go with um, ultimate geniture. Uh, and what do we need for that? We need to be an emperor, realm size is greater or equal to 200, and a crap ton of prestige and piety, which isn't going to be very difficult for us to get. So we just need the empire title and also a realm size of greater or equal to 200. Alright, not too far away then, not too far away. In any case, let's go ahead and set up our trade post. Thank you very much. And once we have converted to a bun, um, I'll go ahead and speak about what type of um, doctrines I want to take on. But for now, can I maybe tussle with this guy? I can't. I don't have the money nor the karma or piety, which is, I guess, known as te or something. Can I tussle with these guys? I can do a whole bunch of claim wars. Um... And order, also some border dispute stuff, but because we're the same religion, that's going to be a little messy, I think. Alright, then I guess all we can really do is just stay here and hold on to our dicks while stuff happens, maybe? Can I raid? Can I do anything? Let's set our um, army rally point to be our capital. And we cannot raid. Unbelievable. Alright, fine. <laughs> I kind of suspected as much. And we are married. Let's just go with the money, thank you. I don't think I need the prestige as much since I'm not tribal yet. Or pagan, rather. Word has reached you of a much beloved old woman named E. What? <laughs> that resides in a nearby village. The old woman spends her days freely helping the villagers with various medical matters, such as concocting herbal remedies and amputating infected limbs. She agrees to take up residence at your court if you donate a large sum of gold to the village. Um, okay, E. I guess we'll... <laughs> wow, at least that's an easy name to remember. <laughs> Fantastic. So if we stay Han, are these the names that we have to look forward to? Are you bugged? You're not bugged, are you? Good grief. Okay, so until we convert to Bun or, um... Uh, I don't know, have a success... We're already infirm. Great. That's just fantastic. <laughs> what the hell? Hey, man. You can't do that. Ah, shit, son. All right, let's gather all our troops. Thank you. And go tussle with his face. Hey, man, you ain't going nowhere. Hold it right there. Trade post has been built. Thank you. Let's go ahead and upgrade our Silk Road trade post. Sweet. And we should hopefully see the money start rolling in. All right. Wait, you're Nestorian? Really? Huh. So this guy's Nestorian and everyone else in this realm is Tengri. Fascinating. Can I... Wait a minute. How is it that I can castrate this guy? I'm pretty sure I don't have any cultural things. Is it because I'm Taoist? Are Taoists known to go around chopping each other's testicles off? Because I'm pretty sure it's more... Um, live and let live than that, but fair enough. Learn something new today. Great. And how much money are we getting from the trade post? Whoa. A fair decent amount, it turns out. So let's definitely stay on top of our trade post upgrades. I think that might be the best way to... A new realm. High Chief Arpod Almos of Etelkaz has decided to abandon the nomadic life and settle down in Itelkas with his followers, making it a new homeland for the Hungarian people. Good for you, buddy. Don't care, but good for you nonetheless. You know what I'm really looking forward to in this campaign? The lack of performance problems. <laughs> and I don't mean performance in the bedroom. No, no, I mean like the game hanging up and stuff because we have way too many people on our court. And now let's upgrade our... You know what? Maybe we'll hold off on upgrading stuff until we can get upgrade the Silk Road market even more. Yeah, that might be a good idea. I'm now known as the Old One and my wife is dead. What a cruel, cruel joke for my wife. Damn. She decided that uh, to prank me on uh, my birthday or something that um, she would just straight up die. What the hell? 
Why are you still... Break free from China, man? Let me tussle with you. Although since we're of the same religion, I guess we can't. Woman accused of witchcraft and human has been dragged before your court. Several witnesses have seen her performing dark rituals in her secluded hut, possibly related to recent crop failures. She claims innocence and it falls on you to determine her fate. Let's go with uh, this local tax modifier for one year, but at least we gain 50 cultural technology points. Sweet. Wait, are we not able to... Okay, I thought that we were close enough to be able to get this. We actually are fairly close to getting legalism level 3. And once we do, we'll of course... What's this? My liege, during my stay in Dunhuang, I have found a great philosopher who has agreed to help me with my studies to enhance culture in the county. With your permission, I would suggest that we employ him for 50 buccaronis. Yeah, let's do it. And let's get legalism level 3. So we should now be able to... Okay, upon the succession, we should be able to um, change to late feudal administration. And hopefully also... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello, nurse. I saw that happening. Oh, wait. As Taoists, we can't do holy wars. Ah, crap sackle. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. So I think that kind of highlights the need for us to turn bun as quickly as possible here. In the meantime... Let me upgrade the Silk Road market, because uh, I'm hoping we can get some more money out of this situation. Wait, so have you... Oh, they're already independent. It's not like a war for independence or nothing. Interesting. Hmm. Well, good for you, man. Good for you. Now we get to tussle with you guys once we get a new uh, religion. Your libationer, Dao Shi Yuanzhen of Kongtong, has been discovered charging money for various religious favors putting the gold in his own pocket. I can't believe you've done this. Um, hmm. Should we? Or should we just get rid of him? No, I'd rather hold on to my prestige and uh, piety, thanks. Though we could imprison him if we wanted to. No, it's fine, it's fine. Silk Road Market has been built. And let's get started on the small mercenary garrison now. Sweet. Although, I guess that upgrade didn't really make... Oh no, wait, it almost doubled our trade income. And we are dead. Fantastic. Duke Yi Chao has ascended to heaven at age 72. He died bedridden and infirm. A disturbed person. What? Really? Yi Chao was known throughout his lands as a raving madman. He was infirm. He was an old, he was a doddering old man, a kindly, doddering, charitable old man who liked to talk about his stories and is sometimes a little blunt, but is very brave. What? Unbelievable. How they treat elders these days. Good grief. Many are cautiously, cautiously rejoicing at the news of his death. Wow. Duke Kui Shen, a rotund and selfish man. We are hoping he will not eat the realm out of house and home. Long live Duke Kui Shen. Good grief. <laughs> what is this? A roasting of the entire dynasty? Oh man, okay. So our first ambition will be to, I guess, groom an heir, which I think will be easy to do. And uh, otherwise, I'd say maybe let's focus on not being so terrible at combat. Yeah, let's go with Marshall. And we should be able to adopt a uh, late feudal administration. I don't know if um, religious title revocation is going to be super, super necessary. So we'll go with this. And in 10 years, shoot, we're going to be able to do that, fine. Um, we need to have vassals who do not have negative opinions of me and also have reigned for 10 years. So by the time we can do religious uh, re revocation mandate, we should be able to also change our inheritance to uh, ultimate geniture, which is the best succession law. And no heir to my dynasty. Alright, first things first, let's get married to a sweet bun lady. Um, let's not, wait, it's not really my religion group, is it? Not my religion group, because they're pagans that we're looking for. Yes. Bring the sweet, sweet bun ladies. I could actually marry an older lady. Um... 
and then take on some bun concubines instead. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Because right now, we're not quite sure if... Yeah. Uh, so you and me, miss, let's get married. Wait. You're the heir of... Oh. Oh, wait, you're down there, though, so I don't think that's going to matter too, too much. Thank you. So we get a non-aggression pact with these guys, but that's not a huge deal. And I suppose we should look for people who are geniuses as our concubines. Nope. Not a single one. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Fine, then. Uh, maybe some quick ladies? Hey, at least there's some quick ladies. Miss, you and me. Be my concubine. Hell yeah. Or we could go with this lady who's also lustful. But, eh, let's just go with her instead. Because at least she doesn't hate me that much. A fair bit, but she doesn't hate me that much. And we can join the Hermetic Society. Um, I guess until we turn bun, Hermetic Society might not be the worst idea in the world. Greetings, Duke Zhang Huishen. We are delighted to learn that you have taken your first step towards enlightenment. The secrets of the corpus may be obscured to you now, but in time you may come to understand them as I have. Hold in thy mind all thou wouldst know, and Hermes the Thrice Blessed will teach thee. Signed, Magus Asser. Really? Your name is Asser? Good grief. Whoa. Okay, didn't expect the, uh, the white face and the, um, curious hat. Ah, shoot. You know what I forgot to do? Crap. I should have actually gone with Theology Focus instead. Because I need piety in order to change my religion. Ah, crap sackle. Alright, well, I think we'll be okay, though. Protector General of the Illustrious Emperor addresses a letter to the Illustrious Duke of the Duchy of Jiuquan. Illustrious? You called me a traitor not like five minutes ago. It has come to the attention of the Heavenly Emperor of Tang of the Tang Empire that merchants from your lands have been acting with deceit and dishonesty while conducting trade in with our merchants. We are certain that you will make sure that this behavior will cease immediately. Are you kidding me? You have bigger issues to deal with than stupid trade laws, man. Good grief. But fine, I don't want to annoy the... Mm, just in case they win the Civil War, I don't want to piss them off too much. So for 10 years, that reduces the uh, city tax in Dunhuang for 30%. And this guy is going to be... Uh, see a reduction in his stats, which is fine by me. And this lady has become my concubine. Perfect. Alright, so for us to secretly convert to Bun, we need 250 piety, and we lost our steward. What the hell, man? What the hell? Uh, I don't know if I like any of these guys as my steward. Let me see if I can get a noble to my court. Hello, sir! Yeah, let's do you up. What? Oh, come on, man! Don't be like that! I'm not that big of an asshole! Ah, shit. We should try to get rid of these stupid traits. Dang, nabbit. So, can I tussle with you? Oh, I can do a border dispute war. Which is gonna cost us a fair bit of money. Um... Opinion of all landed characters of the Nestorian religion within your realm. And his realm become, un become unhappy. Hmm. And who is he at war with? Border dispute over Juyan. So that county. Interesting. Oh, so he's lost. Right. Okay, so we'll just let them deal with their thing, and then we'll probably go in to pick up the scraps or whatever. Here, let's do a border dispute over Edgin. Yeah, that sounds good to me. I forgot to check what his, uh, martial status is. Nope. He's garbage. Got it. Cool, cool, cool. So we should be just, uh, be able to, um, end things with one tussle. And we need to- wait. A new court physician? What about the last one? What happened to the last court physician? What the shit? Uh, where'd she go? Is this the guy? That's not the guy. I mean, he's a court physician. We'll take him. But, it's weird that, uh... Hmm... Okay. Well, in any case, let me also take my court physician as my apprentice. Oh, they're wearing their si They're wearing different things. That was weird. I was like... What? That's not the guy that I asked to be my apprentice. But no, he just... He had a wardrobe change. 
Good grief. Thank you. Why don't the small stack stay there and then we'll go tussle with their... Um, oh shit. Okay, maybe never mind. Let's not do that. Let's just have everyone go to their capital, which is of course the best way to gain uh, war score with horse lords. Thank you, good sir. I actually didn't expect us to have any kind of um, tussling with uh, anyone until we turned bun, but kind of worked out that way. All right, so maybe we can do a, another border dispute war with these guys up north. Um, though I don't know if I necessarily want to venture that far in. Maybe we'll hold off on that for the time being. And this is tribal. Unbelievable. All right, what religion is this? Nestorian, so we're not even going to be able to convert that to a... Um, castle once that's done upgrading what do you want me to do you want me to infiltrate this guy's lab really i'd rather not thanks yeah no peace out home slice good grief man because i think there's um you run the risk of having some grievous injury or being imprisoned if you raid, raid someone else's lab and all that shit so i'd rather not and we are making a decent amount of money earth hill fort great Ah, my studies and training have taught me the general tactics of flanks and center, but I can hardly master everything. I think there's a lot of mountainous terrain in this area. Um, so maybe... <sighs> Battlefield terrain master? Sure. I don't know if there's a lot of narrow flanks, but there's certainly some mountains to be had. Let me know when I can change this over to theology. In three years. Okay, well at least we got a nice little uh, thing out of this. News from China. After years of confusing warfare and shifting alliances, the Chinese Civil War is finally over. The old regime has fallen and Emperor Li Gongzong, a pretender prince to the, of the old, has emerged victorious and now sits upon the Dragon Throne. Things are slowly returning to normal in the Middle Kingdom and the Silk Road is uh, safe again. Okay. Well, I think... Wait a minute. Do we still have grace with him? Wait, they're the same dynasty then? Huh. Interesting. I thought that they had changed, unless it... No, no, they've definitely stayed the same. Alright, then let me send you a eunuch. Yep. And I'm gonna get a peace deal from you right now, so that you don't try to tussle with me. The Protector General of the Eminent Emperor addresses a letter to the Sage Duke of the Duchy of Juquan. May good health be with you. The Heavenly Li Yuanzhen... Emperor Gongzong of the Tang Empire has decided that there shall be no war and strife between our two nations. His infinite mercy and wisdom is an inspiration to us all. Fantastic. Uh-oh. Uh, recent events in the Tang Empire have caused various rebel factions to rise up in and around the Middle Kingdom. One of them is led by Sibu, in charge of a Kitan tribe descending upon the west from the mountains. Wherever he goes, the countryside is left ablaze and buttholes torn asunder. Throughout the region, people are praying for someone to deal with the hostile raiders. Okay. It's unfortunate, but I don't really care. And yes, thank you for accepting my uh, eunuch. And also giving me some... Ooh. I see, they're expanding. Wait, so you took land from these guys? Ah. I can't wait for us to get uh, Holy Wars. Man. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's going on here, guys? We need piety and... Oh, shoot. I shouldn't use that um, piety for the uh, for the border dispute war. Wait, does it? It costs piety, yes. Yeah, it definitely requires piety. Shoot. All right, well that's fine. We're actually not that far off being from being able to um, convert because we need 250, so we need 150 more. We're almost at 50 percent. Happening surprisingly quickly. And this man is trying to assassinate him. Why? Why are you trying to assassinate my... Um... My dude, my steward. Did he... He's a branded apostate? What the hell? When did that happen? And my wife died of an infected wound. Unbelievable, wife. Unbelievable. This is how you repay me for my generosity? Good grief. Let's go with this lady. Miss, you and me, let's get it on like- Aw, oh, shit, she's too old. Wait. Hey, man. I make that decision. I decide whether you're too old or not. What the hell? Dang, Nabbit. Um, I'm assuming she's not gonna want to get married, right? 
No, didn't think so. Alright, let's look for other old women. Not the one with syphilis. Nah, um... Maybe her? Shoot. Or maybe this lady with no face. She'd also make a decent court physician, I guess. No, damn it. I don't really want to get anyone pregnant. Um, maybe syphilis is the way to go. But, damn. Hmm. Can I invite anyone to my court? Shit. Okay. <laughs> Stuck in a bit of a uh, rock in a hard place, I guess. Maybe her then? Is she willing? Okay, she's willing at the very least. And I don't think we need to worry about our wife's stats too, too much. I'm thinking maybe I should get a new concubine. This one doesn't appear to be working that well. Uh-oh. China is going after these dudes. The art of leading men into battle has always fascinated you. Whoa. Looks like these guys split off. Oh, they were gavel kind. Uh, the art of leading men into battle has always fascinated you. To study this critical sentence, or science, <laughs> sentence? You have ordered the construction of a miniature army in wood. Dear Furuzan scoffs at you for playing with toys, but truly, what do women folk know of war? Well, if you ask the Amazonians, um, they knew plenty of war. As a matter of fact, they used that knowledge to gen completely annihilate everyone. Uh-oh. Looks like China is now undergoing a golden age. Which of course means that they are going to be a lot more uh, territory hungry. <laughs> Shoot, so we kind of need to keep on top of our um, peace deals with China then. Got it. Whoa! Thankfully, we are also benefiting from this, so... I'm not complaining too much. I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie, but... I think we should be okay as long as we keep on top of our uh, peace deals. In the meantime, let me switch my focus over to Theology so that we can get some more piety and quickly turn over to uh, Bunnism before my uh, concubineroni gives birth and all that such. Otherwise, we're going to need to... Um... Hey, this is the Witch Lady, right? Yeah, let's give our Witch Lady a good tumble. Fantastic. <laughs> and she's pregnant. Great. Um, I live my life as other men do, navigating its rocks and obstacles, doing my best to achieve success in my endeavors. Still, everything we do takes place in the light of the ancestors, and we must take care lest the influence of King Yan comes into our lives. Wait, is that the evil god of Taoism? King Yan and Yan Luo. Scripture is Tao Te Ching, and the high god is the heavenly order. Sure, why not? Sounds good to me. I'm assuming the child that I have with my lover is not, to, is not going to be very uh, good. Um, so we don't need to worry about him being of the wrong religion and such. My dear courtier and brother in the Hermetic Order, Fu Guo, has stepped forth with an idea for a ritual that might invoke the presence of a divine being. This prospect of petitioning the divine itself for knowledge is tantalizing, and the idea was therefore received with excitement by the Order. The ritual will take place in a few weeks' time. Uh, sure, I guess. And you want me to find a hermetic text. How exactly do you want me to do that again? I forget. Oh, it's one of these things. Right. Um, to Master Huai Shen, the letter mentioned three lost texts, a tome in the, a local antiquary, a scroll hidden in a temple in Jiuquan, and a tablet in the ancient library ruins of Ajbog in... Kunlungin. The further we venture in distance as well as into the past, the greater secrets we might uncover. The sweet, uh, the choice is yours. You know what? I got a lot of money. Let's go for the best option here. Summoning the Divine. The time for the ritual has come and your order has con congregated into a spacious room. Symbols scatter uh, the floor as you chant your hymns. Neophyte Fuguo has provided you with a you all with a new special type of incense that he claims is necessary to make the eventual connection with the divine being. Before long, it has permeated the air, and as you inhale more and more of it, hearing the drone of your fellow chants, fellow's chants, you feel your soul disconnect from your body and begin to ascend, until it seems to connect with something. An entity touches your soul. 
and also your butt. Though you cannot perceive it with any senses other than your mind's eye and also the sensory perceptions in your butt, you must, uh, it must be the divine being. You have succeeded. You struggle to control your butt and, your, and to coalesce all your thoughts into your uh, anus um, with a burning question that, uh, of course, is a euphemism for some weird butt herpes. Um, I forget what the all, all, all these things do. I think the sun is stewardship. I think stars is... Shit, I forget. You know what? Let's just go with sun. Why not? I'm sure we'll um, discover what the different things are. Aw, oh, come on! I need that monthly piety, damn it! The divine being gave me a cryptic reply to my question. Is it because I kept talking about butts? Okay. Life pro tip. Don't talk about butts with divine beings. It turns out that they're very, very testy. <laughs> and for many days since the ritual, I have tried to make sense of it. Yet no matter how much time I spend on it, I cannot. Whatever the divine being uh, intended for me to know is beyond my capacity to understand. I can only conclude that I'm simply not worthy of its knowledge. Oh, the shame. What? We're in negative prestige now? Come on, man. And we've had a new daughter. Who is... Not mine. No. Not at all. Absolutely not. And I believe we can advance in... Military, so let's go with military organization. Thank you. And can I do anything else with my stuff right now? Oh, we should upgrade our uh, primary holding. What was I doing with my life? Good grief. We're only 60 away from being able to... Ah, shit. But now it's going down. Damn it. Our expedition into foreign lands encountered some difficulties, but in the end, we made it to the ruins of Ajbogd safely. After a fortnight of excavation, the servants uncovered the entrance to a hidden underground chamber. Neophyte Fuguo and I entered side by side, the air heavy with excitement. Excitement is, of course, um, the the uh, the Han word for uh, dank ass farts. So this guy has just been eating a whole lot of beans on the trip, and he's just been shitting it out of his butt in like solid form. Do my eyes deceive me, or are those symbols hieroglyphics? Okay, great. Do we get anything cool from it? Alright, so I guess we might as well go ahead and rank up. Thank you. Oh, right, the Temple Vassal opinion goes down. Which I always thought was kind of weird for um, non-Catholic dudes. But uh, I, I figure if anything, um, the Taoist Temple uh, dudes would appreciate me delving into the uh, sciences and whatnot. But eh, well, what do I know? For a long while now, you have not felt the presence of the three purities in your thoughts. You are starting to wonder whether there is really any truth to t in Tao Te Ching, or if perhaps it is just an old book written by clever liars. Um, yeah, let's be zealous. That might... Yeah, it seems to have un, uh, undone the unworthy hermetic. Well, not really undone, but it's offset it a little bit at the very least. Dagmo, the wife of Guri... Tirdu of Skardu has been spending a few days in Dunhuang. It has been a very nice experience meeting her. Maybe our peoples are not that different after all. Who is this man? No, thanks. I'm good. I'm pleased to hear that after a period of peace and shrewd management, the county of Dunhuang is doing very well. People are happy and the tax collectors are reporting record intakes. Sweet. A new bird has arrived in the muse and the new book on the art of writing poetry is in the library. Let's go with falconry, thanks. Rabbit after rabbit was caught, killed, and brought to me by my new bird. Sweet. A little bit of a boost to our diplomacy, and who the hell are you? What the hell? Did you make a wrong turn in Albuquerque? Man, happens all the time, it seems. Okay, we're just almost 50 away from uh, being able to convert to the true faith. Barracks have been built in Fang Pan. Let's go ahead and upgrade our militia training grounds. Thank you. Okay. Almost there, guys. Almost there. The new bird is almost perfect. Almost too perfect, rather. Uh, I enjoy every hunt with her, and the cook has trouble finding new recipes for wabbit. Thank you. Let's be a falconer. Alright. I'm surprised I haven't gotten that event to go into seclusion. Oh, well. I don't really care. <laughs> I mean, she was a witch. She was gonna die anyways. Wait, I'm the drunkard? What? What are you talking about? 
while carrying out my duties for the Hermetic Society, I have met Initiate Adelhard on several occasions. Adelhard is, of course, um, Dutch for erect penis. On several occasions, these encounters have never ended well. One would be hard-pressed to find a more unsympathetic character. I suspect he's spreading lies behind my back to damage my reputation. How dare you, good sir. We are rivals now. Wait, you want me to find the Hermetic Text again? After the last time? Ah, uh, fine. Let's do it. Let's spend the money. Thank you. And we can't upgrade our hospital. We will upgrade our trade offices, though. And how much money are we making from that so far? Whoa, holy crap! That's insane! I mean, it jumped from 18 to 77. Your Jingjun Sima, Mayor Fugoi Jingjun Sima, I'm assuming is Marshall, yes? Yeah, okay, so it's really weird. Everything else is in English, and then there's Chinese. <laughs> What the hell? Um, your marshal has put forward a plan for experimentation with uh, new military technology, inspired by a supposedly brilliant inventor and engineer that he has recently befriended. All that is needed is a little funding. 30 buckaronis? I can spare that. I'm making a decent amount of money. Don't let anyone know. Um, our expedition into foreign lands encountered some difficulties, but in the end we made it into the ruins of Doti safely after a fortnight of excavations, etc, etc, blah blah blah. Uh, sure. More esoteric knowledge, please. And we should probably keep on top of the upgrades here. Okay, so how close are we? The Armored Chariot. You received a report from the outcome of the military experiments that your marshal asked you to sponsor. Apparently, a large steel-plated chariot was constructed, propelled by ten men pulling it inside, directed by a commander peering out from a revolving turret mounted on top. The vehicle also had several ballistas firing through arrow slits. Unfortunately, its weight caused a wooden bridge to collapse when uh, crossing and the invention was lost in the river, also killing the engineer. Your marshal barely escaped with his life. Good for you. You dumb bastard. We're so close, guys. I can taste the bun. Your dedication to religious pursuits has been noticed around the realm. Among others, it has quite impressed Daoshi Yuanzhen of Kongtong. Isn't this guy who was uh, charging for religious favors and shit? You have maintained correspondence on various religions and philosophical matters for some time and find that you are rapidly becoming good friends. Sweet. Not that it really matters too much, but sure, why not? And we will upgrade our... Uh, let's try to save up until we can upgrade a keep. I beg your unbelievable pardon, good sir. Who the hell do you think you are, man? Hustling with my shit. What a jerk. No. Go blast him in the ass down there. Right, we can compose a book. Do we actually have any good stats? I mean, maybe stewardship? But... I think I kind of want to hold off until we can... improve our stats a bit more. You covetous fanatic! The Kyrgyz soldier uh, yells as he uh, charges at me, his expression more that of a wild animal than man. For a moment, time stands still as I'm watching the movement of a shiny sword coming straight from my hand. Uh-oh. So... Ah, shit. We either duel him or we lose a hand. I was chasing... Ozi Yen through the desert when... Bai shoved me aside, barking, I'll take this one, my lord, clumsily swinging his greatsword. Whoa. Nice, he saved my life! Ah, shit. <laughs> Thank goodness. While riding ahead with your personal guard, you suddenly found yourself isolated on the battlefield and surrounded by enemy soldiers. A violent melee ensued, but you gave a good account of yourself and managed to return to the main body of your army in time to lead it to victory. I should probably not be leading troops until my personal combat skill gets a little bit better, I'd say. But, good effort. Holy shit, I was so nervous that it was going to be game over, like we die in the duel or something. But, thank goodness for my, um, rather ambitious and not-so-successful commander stepping in. And also, thank goodness for that guy being completely stack-wiped like a loser. Like a loser, good sir. How long is this unworthy hermetic thing gonna uh, stay for? Six more years. Six more years, come on, man. I really should go into seclusion so I can get rid of this stupid crap. 
Uh, there are many mysteries in the Taoist faith. It might be interesting to spend some time delving into the old texts of Tao Te Ching. One piety away. Ah, oh, guys, we did it. Let's see. Nope. Let's secretly convert to... Nope. What the shit? <laughs> Do I not have a bun lady in my life? Aha. Yes. Unless there's someone who is, in fact, a genius. Nope. Not even close. What about Quick? What happened to my Quick concubine? Oh, no, that's her. Right, right. I don't know why I thought that she was also Bun. Mmm. I guess then... Yeah, let's just look for a decent Bun lady. Who's also lustful. Mmm. You know what? I'll go with you. Gemma Spranglod. What the hell? Gemma Spranglod? I mean, apologize if anyone is actually named Gemma Spranglod. I don't mean to insult your name, but come on. All right, there we go. And let us convert to Bun. Sweet. My brother, I have a proposal. Wait, have I been kicked out of the Hermetic Society? I should be, right? Because I'm Bun? Sure, I'll find a Hermetic text. Why not? Are they going to let me stay? Because if they let me stay, I'll stay. But I think we can also... Oh! Wow, wow, wee wow. Turns out that they, um... Does not have Zealous. Wait, what? Really? All of the following must be true. Sentinels of Light has at least 10 members. Oh, I just need to publicly follow the religion. I see, I see, okay. Um, then I guess we need to leave our Hermetic Society. If they kick me out. If they kick me out. But we'll see. So, in terms of uh, doctrines for our Bun Reformation, here's what I'm thinking. We're not going to do warmongering. We've done warmongering for the last two campaigns. And as much as I enjoy um, not getting opinion penalties for raised uh, vast levies, at a certain point, I'm only going to be using my domain levies and also my, um, my retinue anyway, so it's not that big of a concern. I was thinking we would actually do unyielding. I think it would kind of mesh well with our, um, with Bunism being a more defensive pagan uh, religion. Um, and also the, you know, armies being stronger in our defensive uh, places might be helpful in case China comes to tussle with me. So I was thinking unyielding. Harmonious is the um, Bun specific um, doctrine and we'll keep this, which unfortunately disables close kin marriage, which is unfortunate. As I've said, uh, but on the plus side, we can designate our heirs, so we, it's a mix of meritocracy as well as um, equality, because female rulers are not penalized and absolute cognatic law is enforced. So at least that'll um, kind of make our inheritance in the future much, much easier. We don't have to worry about juggling concubines and such. And our leadership, I was actually thinking of temporal. I know, I know, I've done Temporal for the last couple of uh, campaigns, but here's why I'm thinking Temporal is going to be very important for us. Instead of having to rely on the AI to carefully guide us towards the uh, Maghreb, Maghreb Kingdom, I think we need to kind of take charge ourselves. Otherwise, the the Pope or whatever, um, I guess it's the Dalai Lama with a bun, the uh, Dalai uh, Lama won't might want to declare a great holy war for not even like Iceland, but fucking some like Atlantis or whatever bullshit or bumfuckistan or something. And then we just have to send our troops into the ocean and ha watch them all drown in pathetic ways. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I, I can never rely on the AI to make the right decisions. So I'm thinking that temporal might be a good way to go. Don't worry, in the future we will definitely try out Autocephalus and Hierocrack and all that such, and also even an Autonomous. But I think for our campaign specifically, Temporal Leadership might be the way to go. But yeah. Now, the last Doctrine, the other Doctrine. This is, I think, where we can have some leeway. I don't think we're gonna go with Stability because, I, as far as I'm aware, Bun don't suffer from short ring penalties anyways. However, Rulers can spend Piety to improve their courtier's abilities, that actually sounds not too bad. I think the um, Buddhists have that uh, ability, if I'm not mistaken. Religious tax. 
is something that I can definitely cons uh, consider because once we take um, Chinese imperialism, we won't be able to ask our um, uh, our vassals and our people in court to change or to um, convert to our religion. So it could be nice, and I think um, under Chinese imperialism, you also don't get a penalty for being of a different religion and all that such. So it could be a good idea to keep a lot of our vassals of the uh, of not the right religion. That way we can just tax them all to hell and they'll be very happy about it and such. Monasticism, I don't think we need to do because we can um, dis, uh, inherit our children by giving them temple holdings, I think. That's how it works with the bun. Um, and plus two to base learning, I don't think it's going to be super useful. Terror spicy is just garbage. It's so annoying. Every time there's some stupid... Oh, your kids are fighting in... Your, your, your kid is fighting with a, a pill bug. Uh, do you want to maybe spend 500 gold to see if the stars will divine a victory for your uh, son who is tussling with a fucking um, baby pill bug? No. No, I will not be wasting my money on that garbage. Now, astrology is the other thing that I've kind of been considering. Because it allows us to join the Hermetic Society as the bun. And I think it might not be a terrible idea. So, yeah, that's something to consider. Uh, since the Hermetic Society is fairly powerful. Bloodthirsty gods, useful at clearing out prisons and um, getting piety and prestige. But otherwise, not too, too useful. It would have been very useful in our Amazonian campaign, but I've already talked about that. Daring, uh, prepared invasions, going to be um, unusable once we get to a certain size, I think. Seabound, considering that we're super landlocked right now. And it'll only come into effect once we're um, much farther into the campaign. I don't think it's going to be very useful. Animistic. The last time I tested this out, it only applies if you're an actual uh, child. If your ruler is the child that's coming of age. I don't think otherwise it does anything at all, which is just some unadulterated garbage. Ancestor veneration. Maybe? I don't know, but I don't... I actually have no idea how this works with the temporal thing, because if I'm the religious head, then how do I... How, d is it possible for me to grant um, a saint status to my ancestors? I don't know. I have no idea. Eldership succession. Uh, once we have, uh, you know, meritocracy and such, it's not, it's not going to be useful at all. So, my choice is between um, religious, religious tax and uh, astrology. That's kind of what I'm thinking. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. Um, I'd like to get your opinion on this. But, yeah, that's kind of what I'm deciding between. Religious tax and astrology. I think, though, even with religious tax at a certain point, once we start making a lot of money, it's not going to be as useful. So maybe astrology might be a better option. If we have concubines, why fucking bother with polygamy, right? <laughs> I'm not even going to address that. So this is what I'm thinking for our um, Bun Religion Reformation. Unyielding, Harmonious, Astrology, and Temporal. But we'll see. We still have a long ways to go before we can do any of that. Because we need to hold the three holy sites, have 750 karma, and see our moral authority jump up to 50. But now we should be able to do a conquest war against these guys at the very least. So let's get started with that. Mm. I wonder... Golden Age. I don't know if it's a good idea to tussle with um, these guys now, but maybe. And your suzerain is actually really powerful. Shit. So unless we can um, Blitzkrieg his county here, it might be difficult for us to get Juyan. But let's do it. YOLO. Right, everyone assemble. We kind of need to take their capital as soon as possible here. Sure. Are you going to let me stay in the Hermetic Society? The past few months, you've spent many nights listening to the old myths and stories of the Bun faith. Tales told of Adi are most inspiring and contain much wisdom that can help you in your daily life. Is this the first half of Adidas? That must be it, right? Is the main god of uh, Bun religion, um, of Bunism, Adidas? Maybe. Maybe. What? Vasilevi's raised too long. Eat my ass, man. Unbelievable. What hot garbage. 
Okay, so the suzerain hasn't joined in just yet. And we are at 99%. Peace out, home slice. Sweet. Great. Thank you. And... Oh, right. Because it was a barren land, we had to establish a um, tribe there. Fine. Mm. I was kind of hoping that we could upgrade this to a castle before we move on, but it also needs to be of the right religion and such, which is going to be very annoying. Okay, so why do you hate me? Is it because I'm an infidel? What the hell, dude? Don't be like that. Can you proselytize? I don't know if um, this guy being Taoist is going to uh, stop him from proselytizing in our um, bun or a proselytizing bun, a bunness or whatever. Our expedition to foreign lands certainly encountered its fair share of difficulties. We dealt with everything from unfavorable weather to lame horses, but in the end, the fraudulent guide was a nail in the coffin. When he escaped with our last gold, we also discovered that we were in the wrong part of Kaken. So, pro tip, if you're looking for hermetic texts, make sure that you go with some well-established comedian horses. Lame horses? No, they won't get you very far. Did I just, uh... <laughs> I think I just made a really lame joke, too. <laughs> ah, shit. I done goofed. I'm sorry, guys. Um... Yeah, let's... Let's go tussle with our neighbors down south. Yeah... And... Wait, you're tribal? What the shit? Okay. Okay. Uh-oh. Um, they have a lot more troops than I imagined that they would. Yet another morning when I fe wake up feeling as tired as when I went to bed? Perhaps I should do something about my listless mind. Uh, oh, I should do something about my listless mind. Perhaps I should spend some time alone. Yeah, please try to get rid of your stupid traits. Thank you very much. And we'll go tussle with uh, these guys. Hey, look at that! We lose gluttonous, and we begin to become temperate and also diligent. Secluded in my cave, I subsisted only on the sacred roots and bitter juices favored by the priests. My thoughts are clear. It is by will alone I set my mind in motion. Fantastic. How long have I been ruling for again? Uh-oh. China is doing more stuff. Ah, shit. Look at that. China's got troops now. Dang, Nabbit. That's concerning. I mean, they've always had troops, obviously, but you know what I mean. They've brought troops into the world, is what I meant to say there. And one last tussle. Stone Hill Fort. Sadly, cannot convert to a castle because we don't have the right... I don't understand the whole religious requirement for that thing. That's dumb. But, alright. Uh... That is also tribal. Shit, biscuit. That's Buddhist. Dang, nabbit. None of this is working out. Ah, shit. Um, then let me give this stone hill fort away. I don't think we need to be too, too concerned. Ah, shoot. I don't have any bun real... Patron deity? Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. I should dedicate myself to a particular deity so that I may rule more effectively. Can you go with Dam Chen, the world protector? Uh, martial plus two, diplomacy negative one, personal combat skill plus ten, which would be kind of useful for us uh, when we're leading troops and such. Or, um, Shenla Okar, Wisdom of the White Light, Monthly Karma plus uh, 2.5, Martial Negative 1, Diplomacy plus 2, uh, Shinji the Re uh, Wrathful, Intrigue and Stewardship, and there are others, Kulakari, God of Mountain, Martial, uh, Vassal Opinion, Prestige Learning, uh, Lamla, Sangpo Bumtree, the Creator, Health. Um, you know what? Let me go with the... Uh, I know my diplomacy is already garbage, so... Might as well get some boost to our personal combat skill. Earth Hill Fort. And that's here, yes. Thank you. Get rid of that. Now with these guys, I'm gonna hold off on tussling with them, just in case the Western Protectorate gets called in to uh, support them and all that shit. Which could be disastrous for us at this early on uh, stage. And let me get a new no, uh, noble. Ah, oh, shit, I don't got the money. Well, I got the money now. Let's bring you in. And I'm gonna give you the county of Edging. There you go, buddy. Tribal man. Ugh, damn it. That's fine. Um, 
Okay, well, I think we're going to end our first episode there. We'll come back tomorrow and uh, hopefully we'll get to tussle with Nagormo um, some more and maybe we even uh, attack Minyak and perhaps expand northward as well. And also maybe this way? Could be a way to go. These guys are Buddhist. So we should be able to do some uh, holy wars and conquests against them and all that shit. But we'll see. Alright, well, as this is the first episode, um, I will mention, and I only mentioned this on the first and last episode of the uh, series. If you like this uh, episode and all future episodes, uh, please be sure to leave a like. It uh, helps out a great deal. And um, let me know what you think about the campaign so far. Uh, so, you know, leave a comment and I do my very best to respond to every single one of them. And if you want to see more and you're not already, be sure to subscribe. That way you can keep apprised of all my um, garbage attempts and at doing garbage. <laughs> Which I guess is maybe a good thing. I don't know. We'll see. Doesn't matter. <laughs> um, and also, if you wanted to support me financially, you can do that via Patreon or be uh, by joining um, as a member of the channel. You can get perks uh, like uh, voting for future campaigns and series and um, also uh, getting access to our Discord channel. And that's for both uh, Patreon and uh, and um, the channel membership stuff. Except with the channel membership, you also get a cool badge. So, you know, there's that. But that's fine. If if you can't and or if you're not willing to, that's fine as well. Just, um, you know, leave me a like and all that such. And yeah. I'm really looking forward to this campaign. I've never played as... I mean, I've played as uh, the Indians becoming um, Tibetan culture, but I've never played as, you know, a Chinese character, and um, I never even thought to play as the Bun before because they were severely underpowered um, previously, but with Holy Fury, they, I think, may have gotten a, a better chance at, um, at, you know, at their own fair shake or whatever. And yeah, this is, I think, going to be a longer campaign. Longer than our previous campaign, for sure, since we're going to need to sneak our way over down to Maghreb here, which could result in a very elongated uh, empire. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so for now, thank you for watching and have a good breakfast.